Imagine a railway project so colossal that stretches across the vast Australian landscape, connecting the cities and changing the way we think about transportation. But what if I told you that this incredible $125 billion railway project is more than just tracks and trains? Thanks to the advanced technology and talented engineers, the construction of the biggest railway infrastructure named as Suburban Rail Loop is underway in the Melbourne city. This mega project is unlike any other, with a massive 90 kilometer rail loop of the Melbourne metropolitan area that will connect all the major rail lines from Frankston to the Werribee line, making it so substantial that it's comparable to likes of London Underground Network. The suburban rail loop is divided into three phases, SRL East from Cheltenham to Box Hill, SRL North from Box Hill to Melbourne Airport, and SRL West connecting Melbourne Airport to Werribee. The completion of this entire project is confirmed to be in 2050s. However, the early development of SRL East and SRL North with a heavily tunneled 28-kilometer metro corridor will open for passengers by 2035, costing a whopping expenditure between 30 and 50.5 billion dollars. SRL East will create six spectacular underground stations at Cheltenham, Clayton, Monash, Glen Waverley, Burwood and Box Hill, connecting the whole east and southeast of Melbourne leading to thousands of construction jobs, lush green spaces, and swift traveling for everyone. But the burning question remains, why is Australia betting billions on a colossal railway empire? And how are the engineers making this impossible vision into a reality? Australia has an alarming problem, an overgrowing population in Melbourne. Currently, over 5 million of the country's population live in Melbourne, which exceeds to 9 million by 2050, making it the largest populated city in the country. Also, the most car-dependent city in the world, with 50% of Melburnians traveling to work in a car and 5% in a public transport. The road congestion is worse during the morning hours on the western suburb roads as people rush to the inner city for work, spending almost 79 hours each year stuck in traffic. It takes approximately 20 minutes to commute in a car from the nearest suburbs and 45 minutes by a train if traveling from Pakenham to Flinters Street. With the road transport under pressure, travel takes longer, becoming uncomfortable and unreliable, costing businesses and community a lot of money. Similarly, when a train or bus trip is delayed or cancelled, causes mental breakdowns to thousands of people. According to Australia's urban transport crowding, the annual cost of road congestion will shoot up to $39.8 billion in 2031 without a smart infrastructure plan. The growing population in the outskirts of Melbourne will only worsen the traffic jam, increasing air pollution and health hazards. Shockingly, the traffic pollution causes 10 times more premature deaths than road accidents in Melbourne, with a staggering figure of 11,105 adults, hospitalizing 12,210 people with heart diseases and 6,840 people with respiratory problems. These morbid stats reveal that children are particularly at risk of developing asthma and lung infections due to highly toxic vehicle emissions. Together, the rail, bus and tram networks face higher passenger volumes in the outer suburbs of Melbourne and expected to grow by 52% in 2031. All the more urgency to develop a state-of-the-art public transport. While the metro stations in Hong Kong, Paris and London remain the most efficient in the world, Australian rail hubs have the worst performance ever, as they are old and lack strong connection into the urban community. That's exactly why the $125 billion mega railway project is being developed to address the congestion issues. 
The Melbourne Metro Tunnel will ease the traffic buildup by creating a new tunnel through the Central Business District, and the Suburban Rail Loop is designed to improve connectivity and reduce pressure on road networks. In June 2022, the construction for SRL East had started when a federal budget of $11 billion was allocated towards the development of SRL East project in October 2022. The first stage of the mega railway project, namely SRL East, involves the construction of a 26-kilometer tunnel connecting Cheltenham and Box Hill in the north, six new underground stations and new interchanges with existing rail stations at Cheltenham, Clayton, Glen Waverley, and Box Hill. The Clayton Interchange will act as a transport super hub, allowing connectivity with Dandenong Corridor and regional Gippsland line services, reducing significant travel time and creating up to 8,000 local jobs. All the six underground stations will be built using the bottom-up construction method that involves digging an open trench in the ground for the station box footprint, then different machines are used to build internal structures. It's not a far stretch of imagination to say that these stations will revamp the entire Melbourne infrastructure. SRL East will deliver two amazing suburban rail loop stations at Monash and Burwood, a train stabling facility at Heatherton, emergency and ventilation facility at Mount Waverley, and power supply substation at Burwood. The new Cheltenham station will be 17 meters underground with the entrance facing the Bay Road, providing convenient transportation to all locations in Melbourne's suburbs and access to all the inner city's major healthcare, entertainment hubs and shopping centers. This new station will also connect the Southland station, providing a reliable route for Frankston Line passengers to Deakin, Monash and La Trobe universities. About 8,000 passengers are expected to use the SRL station at Cheltenham daily in 2035, enabling a swift trip from Cheltenham to Box Hill in 22 minutes and Cheltenham to Clayton in 10 minutes. The construction of Clayton Underground Station, located at the north of Carnish Road, will be a game changer in the project. About 18 meters deep with two levels and fully accessible to passengers via escalators. This transport super hub will cater to 90,000 transfers daily with trains traveling in four different directions, making it a hub for regional and city train services like Cranburn and Gippsland Line. The new Monash station will connect people in Melbourne's employment and innovation hub for the first time. It will offer students, workers, and travelers with a direct train link providing access to high standard education and other facilities. When trains start in 2035, about 9,000 passengers are expected to use the Monash station daily, diverting a huge traffic congestion. The Glen Waverley station will be one of the most well-connected on the Metropolitan Network, providing faster access for people to all the major amenities in the south and north of Glen Waverley. It will sit 17 meters below ground, with a single station entrance facing Coleman Parade, and a nearby station plaza will provide bus services and bicycles parking area. The Burwood station will provide a speedy access to Australia's most prominent universities, especially Deakin University. A journey between Cheltenham and Burwood will take less than 20 minutes, meaning future students commuting from Cheltenham to Deakin University will save one hour on a return journey. The Box Hill station will integrate with local tram services and bus services on the Lilydale line, making it easier to reach some of the top-notch hospitals in the expanding precincts. SRL East will clear up 47% of the road congestion by shifting from private vehicle users and generate 70,000 daily fast-track trips from Melbourne and regional Victoria delivering $60 billion in economic, social, and environmental benefits to the country. As for the SRL North connecting Box Hill to Melbourne Airport, it will deliver seven new stations at Doncaster, Heidelberg, Bundura, Reservoir, Faulkner, Broadmeadows, 
and Melbourne Airport, reducing the travel time from Broadmeadows to Melbourne Airport and flourishing business and tourism potential. This section of SRL North will be complete by 2053. However, the construction of SRL West, connecting Melbourne Airport to Werribee, will be alongside the Melbourne Metro Tunnel, Geelong Fast Rail and Sunbury Line upgrade, and the exact timeline has not been revealed as of yet. SRL West will improve access to critical areas in Melbourne's West, including the buzzing Sunshine Precinct, Victoria University, and the Joan Kerner Women's and Children's Hospital. This mega railway project has given a monstrous hope to the Australians for a better quality of life, generating 550,000 jobs by 2050, thousands of affordable homes, clean air and water conditions, and reduced traffic congestion by taking around 600,000 cars off the road every day. This mega railway project is a once-in-a-generation infrastructure investment set to make the future of Melbourne. With a team of expert engineers on board, the project is expected to be ahead of the curve. Thank you for watching, and please do like, share, subscribe, drop us a line in the comments section, and do not forget to hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.